Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan. We're looking here at a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. This one here bought from auction here in Japan. We're going to be exporting this one over to the USA. This one has just 45,000 original kilometers. It's currently the most modern Evo that you can ship to the USA. Prices for these have gone through the roof. Everybody wants an Evo. There aren't very many of them around, and this one being one of the best ones that I've ever seen in the 13 plus years that we've been in business. It is great. You can see 45, 740 kilometers. Switch the engine off for now. Okay, now you might have heard it, you might not have. There is a little bit of hesitation from the engine. It seems like it's spark related. And so please check your spark plugs, check your coil packs. I believe it's probably coil packs. They don't really last 25 years and people don't usually change them. And here's a word of advice for anybody who has a performance car from the 90s. You get more performance when you change your coil packs because they tend to die gradually and then give you a weaker spark over time. The engine is the 4G63 engine. That's the turbo two liter. And this iteration is the first one with the full 280 horsepower, I believe. I think the Evo three might have been 260 or 265 or something like that. And then after this, it was all 280 horsepower. Of course, with four wheel drive in an otherwise lightweight economy car. And this is the first one with the AYC as well. So that's the active yaw control, which is otherwise known these days as torque vectoring. And so it's an active differential that is meant to give you more torque on the outside wheel on a corner because that's the one uh, that is under the most amount of load. And so therefore will give you the most amount of grip. Now there isn't anything mechanically ill with this car except for that kind of uh, intermittent, um, not, I, I mean, it's not misfiring. It's just stumbling a little bit. Seems like it's spark related. Get that checked out. This one has basically no rust on the body, which is something hard to find in an Evo these days. And it was an, an extra concern of the gentleman who bought it. Um, so we did a, do an extra under car video and uh, looks really clean under there. Also check it out. Rally art, yeah man. And I believe the timing belt was replaced, but you can't actually read anything on there. But uh, that sticker is only put on when it's time to change the timing belt. Oil and coolant both look okay, but since you don't know the last time that they were changed, go ahead and get those changed, that's a good idea. Um, the heat shield for the exhaust manifold, these always get rusty really badly like this. It's like three years after they're out of the factory, they get like that. Well, not this bad, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then you can see the nice big turbo down there. And the original front mount intercooler. Very cool. Okay, quick step back to see the car. And I'll talk about the condition and how it compares to the auction inspection sheet here. So firstly, let's do a quick translation from Japanese into English. This is the information given to you by the auction. The report seller has some parts and the auction has some parts. So I'll just translate this. It's a 1997 Lancer GSR Evolution 4. There is an RS Evolution 4. That one there is the lightweight race car version that ends up costing a lot more. The GSR is the comfy one with the power windows and more sound insulation and that sort of thing. I believe the RS also doesn't have the AYC. I believe that's the case. If I'm wrong, someone will post that in the comments. Two liter engine, auction grade 3.5, interior C, comes with aftermarket wheels, power steering, power windows, and airbag. Recaro seats, they're actually the factory ones. And rear wing, this is the original rear wing on this one. Original shift knob, it says. And then look at all of this history. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 sheets, 14 sheets of history there. So that's good. The report here says seat, cigarette burn, and wear. So it has been smoked in, but it doesn't smell like it. Steering wheel wear. Trim comes up. Very common on the Evos. I'll show you that in a sec. Various scratches, dents, uneven paint, and unclear paint. Okay, mostly on the roof. See, a W3 means it's been repainted poorly. And in all honesty, it doesn't look nearly as bad as a W3. Plus, there's no rust in the gutters here, which you sometimes find on the Evos. Headliner is dirty and underside surface rust. Let me just show you the underside first. And anyone who's poked their head underneath an Evo in the back here know that the underside of the spare tire well tends to rust really badly. It gets bright orange and then starts to corrode. So this one you can see the, the, the bright orange starting, but it is very solid with no issues. 
and that's as bad as it gets. The frame rails all along the sides are all very good. Oddly, the exhaust has been painted into a chrome paint. Kind of a weird thing, but it is what it is. Let's just check that sheet again to see if I got everything, which I think I did. Yeah, W3 on the roof, and it says scuff on the front bumper, and then a U2 dent over here on the right side. It's really not that bad. Really not that bad. And along with this video comes a side panel check where I go up close and personal with the sides to show you how they look. And the paint on this is all very good, nice and clean and bright. And yeah, we see these Evo 4s coming up for auction all the time. We buy them every once in a while, but mostly for dealers and mostly they don't go on the channel. Um, it is nice to get one of these on the channel because I know a lot of people are interested, but prices are hefty for them. And this one, I can't say the price of it, but it was one of the top ones that I've seen because of the low mileage there. The thing with the low mileage is that cars like this were, you know, they were per performance economy cars that people would get and drive and they're fun to drive and people would drive them 150, 200,000 kilometers over 20, 25 years. So to have one that has such low kilometers is harder to find than a low car kilometer Aston Martin or Ferrari or Lamborghini. And so in some cases, not quite the Evo yet, but in some cases with cars like GTR or Integra Type R's, you're seeing them actually sell for more than an equivalent Ferrari from the same year with the same mileage, just because it's that hard to find. This one's been converted over to, actually I'm, I'm gonna go around and just talk a little bit more detail about a few things, uh, including the damages. But the headlight has been converted over to an LED headlight because the original one was in a box in the trunk. Okay, it has, this is the original four, Evo 4 bumper. And the Evo 4, 5, and 6 are all on the same chassis, but the 4 has the narrower fenders than the 5 and the 6. But they share the same basic body structure. Okay, that's the original hood vent. And uh, they painted the outside of these. I believe that they are not originally painted, or perhaps this one is original like that, and then this one is, uh, has been repainted. But if you take a close look in here, it's actually been painted on top of an area underneath here that wasn't originally painted. And you can see a little bit of like corrosion squiggles because you can't actually get in there to, uh, you can't get in there to sand it properly. Okay. Going down the side, there's not much to talk about. Um, there is a line here, a fade. And I got an extra video of that. It's hard water damage here in Japan. The mirrors, pretty perfect. The window surrounds have been repainted into black. There is a little bit of paint, like an orange peel on them. And then the roof, W3 should be very poor quality paint, but it's actually not that bad. Might be a little bit difficult to see on the camera as it struggles to find out what to focus on, either the shadows or the roof. But it's, you know, a W3 could be way, way worse than this. No blend lines coming down the pillars, which is good. And uh, missing the badge on the side, and then you can still see where it says Evo 4. Also, when they say uneven paint, what they mean is the colors don't match. And you got a little bit of that with the side skirts because they're made out of plastic and the rest is made out of metal. And that ten they tend to fade at different rates. Okay, so the rear wing is a two-piece wing plus spoiler. And so you have a spoiler down at the bottom and a wing around the top. Plus with this in the center, makes your rear view mirror look extra cool. The Evo 3 and 4 both had that uh, stick in the middle. It's cool. Here it says Rally Art in a couple of places. Also the Mitsubishi logo had been taken off, but it was a ba in a bag in the car. It usually goes there. Also some uh, marks there for something that used to be there. And a FIA World Rally Championship WRC badge, which is kind of cool. Not my style to put on badges that don't belong on the car, but to each their own. It is not my car. Okay, and going down here, i uh, got a little bit of a mark there. Here's where the AU2 is. Let me just show you. Come down here. And there are like three dents all together right here. Let me see if I can zoom in so that you can see. 
again, struggling to focus. And I don't have a, somebody to pull focus for me. Sorry. Not, not that dinged up there. Okay, let's go to the inside here. And if you haven't driven an Evo 4, you have to drive an Evo 4. They are so good to drive in a way that modern cars just cannot do anymore. And part of the reason is because they are, they weren't perfectly made cars. They're very good cars, but part of the flaws of the car make the car more fun to drive. I haven't driven, well, I have driven a, an electric car. I haven't driven many electric cars and no sports electric cars, but I get the feeling like an electric car would be fast, but it wouldn't be fun because vibrations in the car and chassis vibrations and things like that can add some fun to the entire process. An electric car just seemed too quiet and too refined. Here's the coming up liner. These always do this. This is only on this door of this one. The driver seat for the Recaro. It gets saggy here. It's not really as bad as it looks and you don't feel it when you're driving. Let's just have a quick look to find that cigarette burn because I didn't notice it earlier. Here it is. And that's a mild cigarette burn. It could be way worse. It could be a hole right in the middle because that's your most common cigarette burn location is right in the crotch. Okay. Steering wheel is good with a little bit of damage over here. Nothing really to worry about. Power folding mirrors work. Has cool silver face gauges. Uh, really, it would be cool to have the tachometer in the middle and the speedometer off to the side because in a performance car, that's the one that you look at. And then a little boost gauge there with a bit of damage to the mount. Okay, some glue on the dashboard up there. Otherwise, the dashboard is very good with an aftermarket Navi screen in it. Carpets are good, but there's a rip near the clutch pedal there. It's funny, they make this little pad here as the extra wear location, but it doesn't cover the area for the clutch. And a Mitsubishi thing is to have your seat adjuster on the side instead of the front. So, kind of a weird thing. Check this out. Oh my god! Intercooler water spray! Woo! So that's cool. And a teeny little console there. And no cup holders. No cup holders. All right. Um, I could show you some of the stuff in the back. I. Uh, separated it because I believe that uh, the owner will want some of the things that came with but there are these visors in the back a couple of boxes and I have a video to look at that goes through some of these or actually all of those things I believe the only things that came with that are worth taking are the air filters so I just stuffed those into the car so that I could ship those to you Went to the back here door cards are okay easy to get in and a decent amount of space for a small family uh, car seats can work in here. It's going to be a little bit tight. I know somebody who had an Evo 4 when he had a car seat in it. Uh, just noticed here there's some fade around of there. I guess they had this thing down most of the time. Okay. And yes, very fun to drive. I love 90s, like waiting for the boost to come in and then it hits and it's like, wow, that's fun. But you have to be careful. If you put too much boost in it, it gets unfun. It gets faster, but it gets unfun. Okay, so Evo 4. I think the first one we've had on the channel in quite a while. So eat your heart out, anyone who's made it this far in the video. I'm proud of you. That is all we have to say about this one. If you have any questions, let me know. If you don't, then thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.